We recently hired four data analysts in my software and data analytics company at Lick Technologies without taking any interview. We did not even ask them for their college degree. In this video, I'm going to explain you the process that we followed for this hiring. And in the end, I will give you some solid tips that you can use to get success in the hiring process. Their selection was done based on three factors, their participation in project challenges, their LinkedIn post and Discord community server participation. Sometime back, we started a resume project challenge on CodeBasics.io, which is a portal associated with my ad tech startup called CodeBasics. And the intention was not hiring at that time. It was part of our usual business activity where people can practice our real life projects and learn data analytics skills. We conducted two such challenges where a real life data set was given, a business problem statement was given and a participant has to get that data, perform data cleaning, data transformation and build BI dashboards. After that, they had to write LinkedIn post where they can summarize their learning from the project. They also have to make presentation as if they are presenting to a project stakeholders in any company. And we looked at all these LinkedIn posts, we looked at their dashboards, uh, etc and we selected winners from these challenges. Now, while this was going on, we were also hiring data analysts in Atlic Technologies, which is a software and data analytics company. And we had a spark that why don't we pick candidates uh, from this resume project challenges itself. And we were able to find few candidates who perform really well in both the challenges. Now, see, if we had to go and interview people, we'll be looking at two types of skills, technical skills and soft skills. And both of these skills we were able to identify through resume project challenge itself. Because when we looked at the dashboards that people build, we were able to measure their data analytics skills when it comes to soft skills such as communication, presentation, persuasion, we were able to measure that based on the LinkedIn post that they wrote, right? So based on the LinkedIn post, you can measure person's written English communication and based on the presentation that they made, some people went extra mile and they made even video presentation where they were presenting. So we could uh, see their presentation skills. We could also measure their persuasion skills because as a data analyst, when you're working in any company, you're trying to tell your data story to your project stakeholder, trying to convince them of some finding. And we were able to measure and get all those data points by looking at these LinkedIn posts. We also had a Discord server where there was a channel uh, specific to this resume project challenge. And we were able to measure uh, people's uh, team and public skills in the, these Discord forums because there were few folks who were helping others, who were being nice to others. You know, they were showing empathy, the team spirit, the kindness, gratitude. All these skills are super important when you go work in a corporate, in a team. And we were able to get, uh, once again, all these data points through their Discord uh, community server participation. And there were some people who were writing nice creative LinkedIn posts by using visuals, etc. Now in Code Basics, we needed few folks who were going to be a creative content writer as well as data analyst. So these people need to have skills of both data analytics and creative content writing. And once again, through the LinkedIn post, we were able to spot that talent as well. Once we shortlisted few candidates, uh, we just directly called them and we said, would you like to join us? We wanted to get an idea on their current situation, their salary expectation and so on. Now remember, these were very informal calls. No technical question was asked. We did not ask for their degrees. And once we figured out that these people can join, we straight away issued them job offers. It has been few months that these people have been working with us and we have no regret on this non-conventional form of hiring. Now let's discuss the tips that you can use to get a job. I myself don't have many, many openings in my company, but there are so many other companies who are hiring right now and you can use these solid tips to grab their attention. So the two most important platform that you should be active on is LinkedIn and Discord. I think the third one is Kegel as well. Let's talk about LinkedIn. So when you are writing a nice post on the project that you have finished, this could be your resume challenge project. This could be a project that you have built on your own or for your resume. When you write a nice post and also include video presentation along with it, 
what's going to happen is people are going to notice your skills. They are not only going to notice your technical skills, they are going to notice your soft skills such as written English. If you are including a video, your verbal English. If you are having a presentation, your presentation skills. There are so many skills that you are demonstrating by writing these LinkedIn posts. Now say a person like me who have more than 100,000 followers on LinkedIn, when I comment or when I like your post, it is going to show up in the feed of all those people who are in my network. Now in my network, there could be a senior manager who is hiring for their team or there could be an HR person. And it, this post will show up in their feed and they'll be like, all right, let me look at this post. And they see, oh, you have built a nice, beautiful dashboard or some machine learning program. And they also see you write really well and you're very good in articulating your ideas. They can actually reach out to you and say, hey, I have a job opening. Do you want to talk? Similar to me, there are many other LinkedIn influencers as well who have huge networks such as Daliana, Zach Wilson, Nick Singh. I'm going to provide the LinkedIn profiles of all these people. Maybe you can start following them. And when you start following them, what's going to happen is occasionally whatever you are writing will also show up in our feed. Okay. The other benefit of following these people is they are constantly posting on technical tips, interview tips. You will learn so many things from these LinkedIn posts, right? Like don't, don't think this LinkedIn is a waste of time because the real waste of time is you spending time on TikTok or unnecessary Instagram. So just leave all these platforms where you are not doing anything productive. If you're doing something productive on Instagram, it's okay. But if you're not doing anything productive on these platforms, it's not worth wasting your time there. Instead, spend 30 minutes every day on LinkedIn and you will see a benefit come out of it. It's not gonna happen all of a sudden. You have to give few months, right? Before you start seeing the effect. It is also beneficial to comment on other people's posts. Let's say Jack Wilson or Dalian who has posted on some data science or data engineering topic. And when you're commenting on their post and that post has to be meaningful, okay? You don't just say, nice, I agree, etc. I mean, you can say that, but if you provide your own thought process on the thing that they have written, uh, what's gonna happen is it will help you learn a new concept or brainstorm directly with those people because they might also respond back to your post. So now in this exchange, you are learning a lot of uh, things. You are doing critical thinking together. Not only that, you are demonstrating your skills there and maybe there could be some HR manager who is watching this conversation and they'll say, oh, hmm, this person is writing meaningful and sensible comments. So you will leave a very positive impression on those people. And then later on, you can uh, reach out to these people uh, for the job as well. So you know how you use cold emailing uh, to reach out to all the people who are hiring on LinkedIn. If you have already built network, if you have already built a reputation uh, on this platform, when you reach out to some HR manager or some senior manager and say, Hey, uh, seems like you are, you are in my network and you're also hiring. I'm looking for a job. Here is my project portfolio. Uh, do you have 15 minutes to talk? Okay. So when you write such a nice message and show your skills, you know, maybe give them the, your project portfolio or some special achievements that you have. For example, all these people who won the competition on my platform, they can say we won a resume project challenge on this code basics IO platform. Go check it out. So they have built this credibility. Based on this credibility, you will be able to get an interview call for sure. So essentially when you're commenting on other people's post or you are writing your own original post, it's like you are omitting this aura. You are constantly omitting this aura in a space that is going to be beneficial. That space is basically LinkedIn and you are omitting the aura of your communication skills, your technical skills, your persuasion, your people skills. You are omitting those signals and those signals will be caught by the people who are hiring right now. One other thing that can happen is when you're active on LinkedIn, you may build influence yourself. You might have few thousand subscribers. Yeah, and this has happened with one of the people we hired. Naveen has few thousand followers right now on LinkedIn. And when I'm hiring someone and when I'm looking at person's resume, see resume is useful, but it's very static. It doesn't tell me anything about the behavior or anything about the credibility of that person. Of course, college degree, etc. might tell me something. 
But when I look at LinkedIn and if I see two profiles, let's say two resumes, which are equally good when I look at the resume itself. But when I check the LinkedIn profile, one person has 5,000 followers, the other person has 500 followers. Okay. Guess what's going to happen? I will have some bias towards the person having more followers because that person has done something to persuade 5,000 people to follow them. Right. So that person definitely got some skills. And then when I check their LinkedIn post, I check their communication and how they behave. Uh, I can get a lot of solid data points on their behavior and their soft skills. Right. So LinkedIn is something that can tell me a lot about your behavior and soft skills. And these things are important consideration when we make a decision on on the hiring. I was receiving many questions on how to build online credibility so that the chances of you getting an interview call increases or maybe if you already have a job, you can get a better high paying job with uh, better career opportunities to help you all. I have designed a workshop and there are two versions of this workshop. One is online and one is offline. So you can go to codebasics.io website, click on events page and we have our first online workshop which will be conducted on Zoom. And this workshop will teach you how you can use LinkedIn and few other platforms to build online credibility. The benefits that you're going to get uh, are these which I have highlighted here. Uh, number one is if you're not getting an interview call by following tips in this workshop, you will increase the chance of getting an interview call. Number two, if you already have a data job, you want to move to another job with better opportunities, you will uh, learn those skills as well. And the third one is freelancing and building personal brand, uh, some entrepreneurship uh, lessons. This workshop, I promise, is fully packed with a lot of valuable materials and the price of this is very, very low. The seats are limited. If you're interested, check video description below. There is a link. I'm also going to schedule uh, some live in-person workshops in Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, big cities in India. And the information on those is available in the video description as well. So check it out. Okay. So those were a few LinkedIn uh, tips. Maybe in the future, I will make a detailed video on how you can use LinkedIn uh, to your benefit. The second uh, platform that I want to discuss is Discord. Discord is short of similar to Slack where there are various channels on different topics. Uh, Code Basics, my channel have a Discord server. You can check the link in the video description below. Here there are channels on various topics. Let's say Power BI, Python, etc. And if someone has a question on Power BI or Python, they will go to that channel and ask the question. Now there are other people who are trying to help the people who have questions. Now, when you participate in Discord, and when I say participate, I'm not saying asking questions. I'm saying helping others by answering their question. What's going to happen is you will get a lot of benefits in terms of building connection with these people. Correct. If you have helped someone, let's say, and if that person has a job or let's say they get a job and if their team is hiring, they will be more than happy to provide a job referral to you if you are finding a job, right? It's obvious. I mean, people have this tendency that they want to pay back whenever they are getting a favor. So that is benefit number one. The second benefit of Discord is that there could be hiring managers who, who are part of that server. And they will say, oh, this XYZ person is very helpful. He's helping so many people and he seems to have a lot of technical knowledge as well. So then it's likely that they can reach out to you and they can help you with the, with your job process. The third benefit is that by helping others, you are also learning a lot of technical skills. Your technical knowledge is becoming solid. When I was working at Bloomberg, I was part of this internal forums, uh, etc. And and, you know, many times a person would ask the question and I would not even know the answer. So what I would do is I would spend some extra time and I will find an answer for that person. Now in that process, there is no tangible benefit. See, I'm immediately, I'm not gaining anything, but I am learning that particular skill. So in the future, if I face that same error, now I know what is the answer of that question. If you keep on helping people daily, let's say you go to any Discord server, my server, or there are many Discord servers which are out there. And if you answer at least five questions every day, if you help people with their five questions, 
daily you are building all this knowledge okay and you are also building a good faith with people you are building a network remember network is net worth the same network is going to benefit you once again you will not see a tangible benefit or an immediate gain or instant gratification but this thing works 100 percent i have experience at bloomberg when i started helping people immediately i did not see any benefit but i started gaining my technical knowledge and later on they appointed me for a special role in my company which is sort of like google advocate right like there are 20 or 30 people that they pick uh, in this big company and i was one of them and this happened just because i had this nature of helping others right the law of reciprocity works and that help that you have provided to others is going to multiply and come back to you all right that's all i had i wish you all the best uh, with your job searching process if you have any question there is a comment box below